Welcome to our topic, sale of good contract. Introduction, a sale of good contract is a contractual agreement where a seller agrees to transfer some good to the buyer with a monetary consideration referred to as the price. The rule is contained at the sale of good act, cap that one. So, at the sale of good contract, butter trade is not at the sale of good contract, is not covered if, he, if it is fully butter trade, but is, if it is a partial butter trade, it can be considered by sale of good contract. So, a sale of good contract sees to be in place where good are bought in butter trade, for instance, where you exchange a, piece, a car with a piece of rod without with no without any monetary consideration or any cash or money note that there are two types of sale actual sale and agreement to sale actual sale it is sale where commodity is transferred from the seller to the buyer immediately after purchasing for instance purchasing a packet of flour from a shop also Purchasing a mobile phone from a mobile phone dealer, one mobile phone, you go and purchase that mobile phone, you are told if the mobile phone is costing 13,000, you buy the mobile phone and then take my mobile phone. An agreement to say this type of sale where a commodity purchased from a seller takes a future transfer to the buyer. For instance, when purchasing a, mobile, a, a, a piece of rod or while purchasing a car, before the roadbook is processed, it takes a a long, a long period, uh, a long duration of time. Also, th using these online, online selling company like Jimia, like Opia, before the goods are delivered to you, it is an agreement to say we deliver to you a certain commodity at a certain time at a, at a, at a, at a certain date. There are differences between an actual sale and an agreement to sale. One of the one of the differences it is in actual sale it is a sale that takes place immediately. For instance, you go to a kiosk, you want a packet of fra of maize or a packet of fry. You pay the required amount. You are given the packet of fry. An agreement to sale it is a sale that happen more on future transfer. So, for instance, you go to this online selling company like Amazon. You want a certain book to be delivered to you. So the, you, the, before that book is delivered to you, it will take. It will not deliver to you immediately. It will take time before that commodity is delivered to you. For instance, if you want to purchase a piece of rod, it will take a long time before, before that piece of rod it is transferred to you, and now it is in your own title. Or when you want to purchase a motorbike, or when you want to purchase a car, before the wrong book is converted, and your name is now form the basis of that rock book, it will take a long duration of time. An actual sale, in actual sale, the seller can sell for the price, even if the goods are still in his possession. When in agreement to sell, the seller can sell for damage if buyer rejects the commodity they previously agreed on. So, in actual sale, the seller can sell for the price if goods are still in his possession, because that good, the, th those goods are are now are, are now in the possession of the buyer or in the seller can sell the, the for the damage if those good if the buyer rejected to take the, that commodity for instance in agreement to sell the rock book have already have already been processed with the buyer's name then the buyer repudiate the contract with no crowd so due to the dual process which have been taken and a lot of money used to convert that rock book so it will be illegal for the buyer to reject to repudiate that contract. The burden of damage, even if the goods are still in possession of the seller, raised to the buyer. So if you buy a packet of RAM and refuse to take it and you, you, you do not take it immediately in actual sale, then that, that packet of RAM happened to be damaged or fall down, teared, and though the fra poured down in the shop. So the damage is yours because you already take, you already purchased that fraud and refused to take it. So the burden of that damage will be you be the, who will be liable is the buyer. When the da, where the burden of damage in agreement to sell rest to the seller. For instance, the seller made an error when trying to process a, a car rock book. So the seller will be liable for all the costs which will be used to make 
that log book applicable to the to the buyer the actual seal it is mostly oral in nature and does not form for a lot of legal formalities for an actual seal does not require a lot of legal formalities for instance signing involving involving a, a legal ex, expert when trying to purchase a, a unga from a kiosk you only really need you yourself and the shopkeeper you purchase the flag and go and cook so it is in, in actual to, in agreement to say it is mostly in writing involving a, a lot of legal formalities when you want to purchase a rad it, it requires a lot of legal expertise because the rule used in purchasing the rad is so rigid and complex so it requires a lot of legal a, ro, a lot of legal expertise and a lot of writing is required classification of goods one classification is the existing good these are good owned and possessed by the buyer during the formation of contract for instance in a kiosk the buyer possesses that fra so you go to the kiosk purchase that fra and that fra become yours future good these are good acquired by customers when manufactured or after the formation of a contract for instance a school want to purchase some desk so it will, it will contract the carpenter to manuf to manufacture those desk after manufacturing those desk he deliver the desk so after delivering after delivering the desk so the contract have the contract have been formed and now it is an execute executed contract specific good these are goods that were not ascertained but are made may certain when a contract is formed where well, uncertain good they are good that were not ascertained but they are they must be ascertained before a contract is formed for instance uncertain goods they are planned to be they are crops to be planted to be sold to a certain company for instance the bat contract their customer to ex to to plant some tobacco and then the contract will be executed when the farmer will plant that we plant that tobacco not dry up grow be, become be, become harvested and then the bat company will pay the customer after the tobacco have matured and now is harvestable and then the contract will be executed Thank you for watching my video. Kindly remember to comment and subscribe. Thank you.